This is a Prime Crime Network exclusive. Two men accused of robbery and shooting three men at a Chevron gas station. Let's get it. Okay. Let's get it. I, I can't. I can't get Give it up. Emmanuel McAlpine was charged with three counts of attempted murder and robbery, and Jaquez Lovegood is charged with robbery. Three men were shot in the head during this robbery. A surveillance video showed a man come in and point a gun at the clerk behind the register. The police identified that man as McAlpine. According to the evidence, McAlpine shot the clerk in the eye and went into the back room of the store where he found another man and he brought him back up to the register and shot twice, once in the chest and once in the face. McAlpine then accused of trying to make a third man open the register. When that victim was unable to open the register, McAlpine shot him in the head. Police said that McAlpine told them that he and Ludgood conspired to commit the robbery. McAlpine told police Lovegood then ran before the crime was committed. Chase Dearman, who is representing McAlpine, said, Just because somebody says something does not mean it's a voluntary confession. Before it can be admitted in any trial against somebody's guilt, it has to be proved that it was voluntary. Lovegood allegedly told police he bailed out of the plan before the robbery and that McAlpine acted alone. The three shooting victims have not positively identified McAlpine as being the man who shot them. So far, police have been unable to find the gun used in the shooting. A judge set bond for Emmanuel McAlpine for 400000 but 5% of that must be paid in cash. McAlpine ended up pleading guilty to three counts of attempted murder. Anything you want to say to your family? Yeah, I'm sorry for the family that was hurt. To my family, sorry. Wish I could have did but A Mobile police detective testified Emmanuel McAlpine and Jacquez Ludgood conspired to commit the robbery at the Chevron station on Sage Avenue in Midtown. Police say McAlpine is the one seen in surveillance video entering the store and later shooting three men point blank. The detective testified that after McAlpine was arrested, he told police he and Ludgood went to the Chevron to confront one of the victims about an alleged rape involving Ludgood's sister, but police and prosecutors don't believe that's true. There's absolutely no evidence that would corroborate that in any way. Um, I mean, you heard testimony about the communications between the two defendants on Facebook. This was clearly a robbery that turned into a shooting. Even though police say McAlpine confessed, he's still pleading not guilty. After the preliminary hearing, the judge also set a bond for McAlpine. It's set at $400,000 in this case, but he'll be held without bond for the time being. There's a motion to revoke his bond in a separate assault case. Today, a little bit of justice. 24-year-old Emmanuel McAlpine made a deal with prosecutors. He's pleading guilty to three counts of attempted murder, and the DA drops the one count of robbery. The shooting was caught on surveillance video. Let's get it. Okay. Let's get it. That's McAlpine yelling at one of the employees during the violent robbery. Within seconds of confronting his first victim, McAlpine opens fire just inches away. He then moves to the back of the store, shooting another employee before shooting a third employee twice, then leaving. All he got? Two packs of cigarettes. While the court case may be over, it will never be over for the three people shot and left for dead. Parthiv Vora is one of the men shot. We interviewed him the day McAlpine was arrested. But he did big harm to me for mentally and physically. I have a hearing deficiency. I mean, I have walking disabilities. Every time I sleep, uh, sit down, I really have a big problem sitting down. I mean, I want to see him behind the bar and on the maximum prison, whatever he get it. McAlpine will be spending a long time in jail. He received three life sentences, one for each victim. The sister of one of his victims is thankful McAlpine took the deal. He didn't have to plead guilty, but we are so grateful that he did and that this did not have to drag on. But there are no true winners here. Everybody loses today. That, that young man, he looks like a nice, decent young man. 
and he's lost to the system now. Mm -hmm. So we'll be praying for him and we'll be praying for his family that, and we just thank God that justice has been done. McAlpine's attorney says it was the right thing to do. I do believe that the agreement that was worked out was fair and equitable among both parties and it was definitely in Mr. McAlpin's best interest. The Prime Crime Network, your source for urban and suburban and around the world news. Hey, don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and check us out on primecrimenetwork.com. Oh yeah, check us out in our popular community section.